say love is a dream afraid of waking. But I believe that ours was born in the stars, eons before we even met. That is our call to discovery. So we have a new, oh that is pretty loud. <laughs> new Star Trek game. Four. Sorry if I seem a little out of breath. I was doing, uh, I was doing some exercises to get warm before this, so you know, I'll be able to catch my breath in a second. I was, um, I was a little cold, so I was sitting around, so I had to warm up. But, uh, you know, that's one thing I always wonder about when I watch these, these space shows, these future space shows. Like, do people in the future exercise? Oh god! Because, oh god! <laughs> you know, I'm watching Orville and Star Trek, and I'm thinking, like, there's still... Like, everybody in this universe should be cut and buff. And then there's, there's still overweight people. And maybe it's not such a problem to be overweight in the future. Maybe they can clean out your arteries, but I don't know. Maybe that, I figure they got that, that stuff all figured out. So, maybe it's not, maybe it's not such a problem to be overweight. Um, there's the space... I was about to say space burrito, but it looks like a space sombrero. It's a, it's a space station. We have the manual and the overlay, so we kind of know what we're doing now in this game. More than previous games, which I did not have the manual. We're supposed to destroy a clean on mothership, and then there's a, there's black holes. I actually thought this thing was going to play more like Star Raiders, but, uh, which would have been a disappointment, but this plays more like the early levels of Star Trek, the Star Wars, uh, game. <laughs> you can actually shoot their torpedoes out of the sky. Come on. Boom. Yeah. But the... The, the worst part is you can run out of lasers and shields, so you have to be conservative. Um, and if you do run out of either, you can dock with the space sombrero. Come on! To replenish uh, those supplies. So the funny thing is the. Uh, Clean up. Mothership looks more like a space burrito. Well, to, be le uh, <laughs> to be a little crew. Actually, I can see it now. Now, I think you can go through the black hole. It looks more like a, let's say, a, a tunnel of love. <laughs> uh, that's the, the warp button. Come on. That's like the, the shortcut. There we go. Light speed. Or uh, warp speed. <laughs> There's... Oh god! It's really fast. It's kind of weird how they allow you to warp directly to the boss stage. Get up! I think I'm already dead. I mean, you kind of get the gist of the game now, but maybe we'll go for one more, one more go. Try to go right to the to the boss stage again. Blow those torpedoes out of the sky. Oh dear. It's not bad, but I wish there were more to this game. Boom. What? Bull. 
I totally knocked that out of this guy. of something that, uh, like that interstellar scene. Maybe we should just do it just to see how it looks. Come on. Come on. Actually, I probably should be conservative about how I use my, my phasers. Kind of like the, uh, I don't know, Rogue Squadron. We want to get the highest accuracy. Boom. These guys are real. This will destroy your joystick. I mean, I'm constantly moving. Boom. <laughs> Actually, I'm almost out of lasers. Where the hell is the space sombrero? There it is. Move! Still use shields. Space sombrero! There it is. Oh, dear God. Oh. I don't dock with it. <laughs> I blew up the space sombrero. Oh well. Oh come on. Well. Thank you, Patrick. Until next time.